Welcome back to the deep dive. Today we're going to be looking at renewable energy. Oh yeah. We're taking a look at a specific piece of tech actually. Okay. The EG4 18 kPV hybrid inverter. Cool. And um you know our listeners are probably thinking about renewable energy for a project or two or that. just interested in how this stuff works. Mm -hmm. But either way, yeah. we got some great sources here to break down what makes this inverter so special. Yeah, this EG4 18 kPV, it's a hybrid. Okay. Which means it can work on the grid or off the grid. Oh, wow. And that's great because then you don't have to have like two separate systems. Right. You don't have all those extra components. So you're telling me I don't need an engineering degree to set up solar anymore. Basically. Yeah. That's pretty appealing. And and it's really for everyone you know, homeowners, yeah. RV people, mm -hmm. small businesses. I see it. It's that plug and play design. Right. And the installation is much smoother. Okay. You know, the world of solar inverters right now, it's a little all over the place. But the EG4 is really trying to make it less intimidating. It's like they took all the difficulty out of going green. Yeah, exactly. Our sources mention these certifications. Oh, yeah. UL1741, mm -hmm. CEC, yep. IE1547.1. Uh -huh. I mean, what does all that even mean for someone who's not an electrician? So basically, those are like stamps of approval okay. from really serious industry groups. Gotcha. And they've done rigorous testing uh -huh. for both safety and performance. Nice. So you can be confident that it's a high standard. Okay. Peace of mind check. But let's talk about the power. Sure. The EG4 18 kPV has an 18,000 watt PV input. Yes. And a 12,000 watt continuous output. That's right. I mean, those numbers sound impressive. They are impressive. But what do they actually mean for like daily life? Okay, so think about running your fridge, mm -hmm. your AC, okay. even some power tools all at the same time. Oh, wow. This inverter can handle that. No way. And that means real energy independence. So I could really be off the grid, could see a difference in my energy bills. For sure. So it's not just about like being eco-friendly. Right. It's also about like taking control. Absolutely. And even saving money. Yeah. I like this. And it gets even better. Really? It's stackable. Okay. And scalable. What does that mean? You can connect multiple units together. Uh-huh. So as your power needs grow, yeah. the system can grow too. So it's like future-proofing. Exactly. Okay. Let's say you add a home office. Yeah. Or you get an electric car. Oh, yeah. You could even start that small business even thinking about. Right. Your energy system can adapt. Smart. It is. The sources mentioned closed-loop communication. Yes. And specifically with EG4 batteries. Right. Can you explain what that means without getting too technical? Sure. So imagine a perfectly synchronized team. Right. Like the inverter and the batteries are talking to each other constantly uh -huh. to make sure they're working together. It's about optimization and protecting your investment. It's like a smart energy system yeah. that knows how to use power wisely. That's it. But even the smartest systems need safeguards, right? Of course. Our sources talk about built-in protections. Mm -hmm. Overload. Yes. Short circuit over temperature. Uh -huh. And something called line balancing. Right. So what are all those? Okay, so overload protection. Yeah. That's to stop things from getting damaged if you're using too much power. Okay. Short circuit protection. Mm -hmm. That shuts the system down if there's like faulty wiring. That's good. To prevent fires. Yeah. Over temperature protection. Right. Prevents overheating. Makes sense. And line balancing. Uh-huh. That makes sure the electrical load is spread evenly. Gotcha. Across all the parts of your system. Okay, so it's like having a bunch of invisible guardians. <laughs> like that. Making sure everything runs smoothly. Exactly. Okay, so we've got power, yep. scalability, uh -huh. safety. But our sources keep mentioning this all-in-one design. Yeah, it's a big deal. What makes it so different? So this EG4 18K PV, yeah. it can manage power from different sources, okay. like your solar panels, yeah. your batteries, mm. and even the grid. Oh, wow. All at the same time. So it's like an energy traffic controller? It is. It directs the flow of energy. And it can handle the elements. Oh, yeah. What about that NEMA 4X IP65 rating? So that means it can handle rain. Okay. Snow. Uh-huh. Dust. Nice. Anything you'd expect outdoors. So it's ready for an adventure. You could say that. But maybe not in the desert sun. Well, it's for outdoors. Yeah. But it's best to keep it out of direct sunlight. Makes sense. It'll last longer. It seems like they thought of everything. They really did. And for those of us who aren't electrical engineers, right. it's great that it's user-friendly. It is. The installation is really straightforward. Good to hear. Really plug and play. And they didn't skimp on the compliance either. 
We see UL 1741SB, mm -hmm. IEE 147.1.202, yes. FCC Part 15 Class B, right, and CEC. That's right. What does all that mean for the average user? So that means that this inverter yeah. has been tested thoroughly okay. to make sure it meets all those safety standards, uh -huh. performance standards, nice. and electromagnetic compatibility. Wow. Both in our country and internationally. That's a lot. It is. So it's safe, yep. efficient, uh -huh. and it won't fry my electronics. Exactly. But what really sets this apart. Yes is the backup power system. It is a great feature. Even when the sun isn't shining. Right. How is that possible? So it's all thanks to the batteries okay. during a power outage. Yeah. The EG4 18kPV switches to the battery. Seamlessly yes. to keep your appliances running? It does. Wow, that's next level. It's no more scrambling for candles. Nope. The sources also talk about remote monitoring. Oh, yeah. And upgrades. Uh -huh. What does that look like? So you get to see exactly how much energy you're using, okay. how much solar power you're generating, mm -hmm. how charged your batteries are. Wow. It's all right there. It's like a dashboard for my energy. Yes, exactly. Like in my car. That's a great way to think about it. And I can see past data too. So like track trends and stuff. Yeah. Can I also keep my system up to date remotely? You can. So I don't need a technician to come out yeah, every no. time there's an update? You got it. That's great. It's all remote. Awesome. It keeps your system running smoothly. They really did think of everything. It seems like it. And it's user-friendly too, right? Yes. The source has mentioned a simple LCD display. It is a simple display. So I can monitor things easily. You can. And change the settings. If you need to. This is really impressive. It is. So much power. Mm. Flexibility. Yes. And it's so easy to use. The EG4 is really something else. I mean, it seems like it's pushing the boundaries. It is. Of what's possible with renewable energy. It's a powerful tool. Yeah. To make clean energy more accessible. We've covered a lot of ground already. We're not done yet. No. After a short break. Okay. We'll be back to look at how this tech could actually change our relationship with energy. Sounds good. And what it all means for the future. I'm ready. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the deep dive. We've been talking about this EG4 18kPV hybrid inverter. It's pretty cool tech. Yeah, the more we learn about it, uh -huh. the more interesting it gets. Yeah, it makes you think about renewable energy in a whole new way. Okay, so we've talked about the basics. The nuts and bolts. Yeah, but now I'm curious about the bigger picture. Sure. Like, how could something like this actually change how we think about energy? So it's about moving beyond being just a consumer of energy Yuck. and becoming more of a prosumer. A prosumer. Yeah. A prosumer is someone who produces uh -huh. and uses their own energy. I like that. It has a nice ring to it. Yeah, it does. So instead of relying on the grid, yeah. you're taking control. I'm in charge of my own energy destiny. Exactly. That's a good feeling. It is. So walk me through this. Okay, so let's say you have solar panels on your roof. Okay, I've got my solar panels. During the day, they're making clean energy mm -hmm. that powers your home. Right. And if there's any extra, yep. it gets stored in your EG4 batteries. So I'm like my own little power plant. Kind of. Yeah. That'd then be... when the sun sets, mm -hmm. you switch over to using that stored energy. From the batteries. Right. What if I'm like having a movie marathon? Okay. And need more power than my batteries have. That's where the EG4 18kPV really shines. Okay. It knows to supplement your battery power uh -huh. with power from the grid. Automatically. Yeah, so you always have enough. It's like a backup generator. It is. But instead of gas, yeah. it's clean energy that I already stored up. That's right. So no more blackouts. Nope. If the power goes out, yeah. your system just switches to off-grid mode. And everything keeps working. Exactly. It's like an insurance policy for my energy. I like that analogy. It is kind of funny how we usually think of renewable energy as saving the planet. It's definitely a big part of it. But this also has like these practical benefits too. Oh, for sure. Like saving money yep. and not being reliant on the grid. It's about being prepared for anything. Right, like those crazy energy prices. Yes. Or when the power goes out for days. You're covered. So it's really about having control. Yes, control and resilience. It's like this technology is shifting the power dynamic. How so? Like, I'm not at the mercy of the big utility companies anymore. Exactly. I've got options. It's like democratizing energy. I never thought of it that way. It's empowering. I'm starting to see solar energy differently. In what way? It's not just about cowering my house. Right. It's a whole different mindset. It is a fundamental shift. Yeah. And this EG4 18kPV with its hybrid capabilities. Uh-huh. An easy-to-use design. It's at the forefront. 
It is. It's giving people the tools to go green. Okay, this has been really eye-opening so far. I'm glad you're enjoying this deep dive. But let's be real for a second. Sure. No technology is perfect. Of course not. Are there any challenges with this? So while the EG4 18K PV has a lot going for it, yeah. you do have to think about the pros and cons. Like what? Well, one thing people always bring up is the upfront cost. Right, solar can be expensive. It can be, but I think of it more as an investment. Yeah. You're investing in a system that could save you money in the long run. On my energy bills. Exactly, and it could even increase your property value. Plus, there are often rebates and incentives. Oh yeah, I've heard about those. That can help with the costs. So I'm saving money and helping the environment. Exactly. It's a win-win. What else should people consider? Installation. Okay. While the EG4 18KPV is designed to be simple, okay. it's still a complex piece of equipment. Right. So it's best to have a professional install it. So maybe not a DIY project. Probably not for most people. Safety first. Always. And it's important to think about where you live. Location and climate. Yeah. How does that affect things? Well, solar panels need sunlight. Right, to work. So if you live somewhere that's often cloudy yeah. or doesn't get much sun, mm -hmm. that could be a problem. So I need to make sure I'm getting enough sunlight. Yeah, a good installer can help you figure that out. So do your research. Yes. Find a good installer. Absolutely. It's an investment. It is. But it's important to go in with your eyes open. I agree. Knowledge is power. So for our listeners out there yeah. who are excited about hybrid inverters like this EG4, uh -huh. what's your advice to them? I would say learn as much as you can. About solar. About everything. Right. Look into the rebates and incentives mm -hmm. and talk to a few different installers. To get different quotes. To get quotes and to discuss your specific needs. It's about being informed. Exactly. The more you know, the better choices you can make. This has been a really cool look. I agree. At hybrid inverters. And this EG4 18KPV. This technology is changing things. It is for the better. For a cleaner, more sustainable future. It's exciting to think about a future. Yeah. Where clean energy is available to everyone. That's the goal. And affordable. And reliable. And with innovations like this EG4, mm -hmm. it feels like that future is getting closer. It does. We've got one more part to this deep dive. Okay. So we'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back to the deep dive. We've been spending some time with this EG4 18K PV hybrid inverter. Yeah, it's a fascinating piece of tech. It really is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've talked about the money you can save, mm -hmm. the energy independence you can get. Right. Even that peace of mind knowing you've got backup power. Mm -hmm. But before we wrap up, I wanted to touch on one more thing. Okay. The environmental impact. Yeah, that's a big one. Because our sources mention that a lot. Of course, it's one of the biggest selling points for these hybrid inverters. All right, so it's not just about saving money. No. It's about helping the planet. Exactly. With the EG4 18K PV, you can really cut down on those fossil fuels. Okay, so by using solar energy, yeah. I'm actually making a difference. You are reducing your carbon footprint. Nice. And helping to create a cleaner world. And it seems like more and more people are getting on board with that. They are. It's not just a small group anymore. Yeah, our sources say it's becoming mainstream. It is. Homeowners are interested. Mm. Businesses are interested. Well, Even entire communities are going solar. That's amazing. It is. And as that demand grows, yeah. we're going to see even more innovation. More advancements in the tech. Making it easier and cheaper to go green. So it's like a snowball effect. It is. The more people adopt solar, yeah. the more accessible it becomes. And products like this EG418 KPV are really leading the way. They are making solar a realistic choice for everyone. It's like they're taking this really advanced tech uh -huh. and making it easy to use. Like any other appliance in your home. That's a good way to put it. It's about empowering people to make good choices. For their wallets. And for the environment. This has been a great conversation. I agree. We've learned so much about the EG4... 18k pv hybrid inverter it's a really innovative product it is from the technical details uh -huh. to how it could change the future of energy it's exciting stuff it is and i i think our listeners are probably feeling inspired i hope so by the possibilities of renewable energy we've only just scratched the surface we have but it's clear that this technology is more than just a product it's a movement. Yeah, it's like a symbol of change. Towards a more sustainable future. And we all have a part to play in that. We do. Whether it's making smart choices about our energy, mm. supporting policies that promote renewables. Absolutely. Or just talking about the benefits of solar. Every little bit helps. So to our listeners out there, 
Yes. Keep learning. Keep asking questions. Keep exploring the world of renewable energy. The future is bright. It is, and it's powered by all of us. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been a pleasure. Until next time. Keep pushing for a better future. We will. If you like this kind of programming, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow so we can keep on bringing you more of this type of content.